Hey guys, welcome to another how-to video. I'm here to show you how to get Svex for Tech It Legends. Um, there are probably other videos out, out there about this, but hey, fuck it, I'm gonna do my own. I've already done ones for Tech It Classic, um, Hexit, uh, Tech It Light, I think. Yeah. So, we'll go to uh, this page right here. I'll put the link to this website, or the BDCraft community place to get the patch for Tekka Legends and um, obviously this page here uh, like all the other ways to do it you just go and get your base patch from down here um, if you have a good enough computer you can go for 128 or 64 but depending on your system you can't use 5 till 256 because that's not supported by the patch unless you want to do that but that's your choice I guess might pick the 64 bit version because the 128 version I heard doesn't work well, or does not work at all. But you know what, fuck it, let's try the 128 version. Or 128 bit version. So you just click here, and bring you to add fly. And then you click skip add. Close the add fly page thing, because it likes doing that shit. And then uh, we'll be right back, guys, once uh, this one is downloading. And then I'll show you how to download this one. Pretty much the same exact thing, I guess. But see you guys in a minute. Alright, guys, we're back and it got downloaded. So close that out. Go here, download the 128 bit version there. I think this brings you to. No, this brings you to Dropbox. Okay. Right. Alright, guys, we're back. So what the cut? Uh, you just. When you click on this link, you go over here and you click download and then you click direct download and uh, it should directly download. And if it tells you you should sign up, you can just say fuck that and continue to download and it should work fine. But uh, see you guys in a minute once this is done uh, downloading. Oh, also, uh, if you have Chrome, you just drag it off from here and drop it on your desktop for that to work. But yeah, anyways guys, see you in a minute. Alright guys, we're back. And it got done. Drag it out here. Um... Yeah, just minimize this for right now, or at least I can. Double click that. Say fuck you, Winrar. That was the 128 thing. Open up that also. Fuck you, and drag that over. Uh, this is if you're using Winrar. I will maybe leave a link to the Winrar download um, in the description. Maybe, probably not. But anyways, you go into assets. You go also into assets here. Uh, control A, click and drag over, and uh, this will take a few minutes because this is a lot of crap to transfer over. So see you guys in a minute. All right, and then from here you click OK, and then it'll transfer over there. For some reason it does that, but yeah. So see you guys in a minute once this is done. Also, all right, it's about done. There we go. Yep, now it's all in. Then you can go back if you want and um, put these two in there also if you want. I don't know what difference it makes, but you can put that in there to customize the little thing. But after that, you don't need this anymore. Drop that in your recycle bin. Uh, you can press Windows R or you can go here and then type percent updated percent. But since I already have it in run, you yeah, that, open up this and you go to dot technic you go to mod packs and you go to tech at legends resource packs and then you drop this one in there so after that you close these two things and once tech at legends launches i will be back so see you guys in a minute alright guys we're back as you can see it works um, because this is the 64-bit texture pack, but you go into resource packs. Uh, it should say 73 or whatever mods I added dynamic lights and shaders to my pack, just because why the fuck not? So that's why it says 86 for me. But go into resource packs. I'm just going to click on 128 and see if that works. And you should be able to do that. Done. This is going to take a minute, so see you guys in a minute. 
Alright guys, as you can see, it worked. 128-bit texture pack is working right now. Um, I had a bit of issues launching it, so I had to remove shaders. So don't have shaders plus 128, even if you have a good computer like I do. Uh, let's just go into this test world. The only thing that isn't really textured is the Quiver Bow mod, but for the most part, Project E is textured as, as you can see, a lot of the ores. Um, I'll just quickly go through some of this stuff. All this good stuff here. The only thing I can think of that isn't really textured is Quiver Bow. And maybe one or two other mods. Because this patch is still in work in progress, so not everything will be textured. Yeah, like tube stuff, not that. It, none of that's textured. Chicken chunks isn't. Um, thankfully, industrial craft is, which is nice. It's a real, real fun mod from uh, Ticket Classic. There's a new toolbox, that type of stuff. Uh, another one bites the dust. Not everything in here is textured. The little thing there is that's weird. Um, yeah, as you can see, but mostly everything's textured. There are a few things that aren't. If you want modular power suits textured, you have to go in there and add the texture yourself because there is one, he just hasn't added it to the patch yet. Uh, I can show you that in another video if people want, but I think I should be fine. Yeah. For the most part, everything's all textured and all that good stuff. The only thing with this version of Ticket Legends, for some reason your Minecraft skin doesn't show up right away for some reason. I don't know what that's all, all about. It's weird, but you know what? Let's just not question it. Even the map is not map is textured. Let's just blow some shit up with the... Is it, the, is it this one? No, it's not that one. Ender Rail Rifle Accelerator. It's funny. It makes a giant explosion in the crater in the ground. Boom! Yeah, I'm recording this so it's a little bit laggy, but you know what? It's whatever. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video of a how to video. And if you guys want to see any more of these types of how to videos for um, anything really that you have a question on. I'll go try to figure it out and help you guys out. But, anyways, guys, hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.